Hey y'all, welcome back to Breezy's Puffs. If you wanna know how I did these small, extra flat, goddess, knotless braids on myself, please stick around and watch the rest of this video. All right, so I'm starting off with blow dry hair that I actually blow dried the night before, but as you can see, it got a little bit messed up, so I ended up re-blow drying it. Um, I will put a link to where I got this blow dryer from if you are interested. All right, so what you will need is a rat tail comb. I like to use the one with the metal tip, some clips for separating, and some ponytails as well. This is my setup. I like to have a mirror behind me and a mirror in front of me so that I can see the back of my head. It really helps with parting. So this is basically how I start off parting for small breeds. So I'm actually really bad at parting. Like it takes me forever to part. Um, so the way that I kind of like combat this is basically by, like I said, again, having that mirror behind me and in front of me to kind of see what I'm doing and then using some edge control um, on my part as well to help with the parting. In my large knotless braids video, I explained that basically I flat twist the rows um, when I part. So basically that that is all done before I start actually braiding. For me, it's just easier and I don't have to worry about parting all throughout doing my hair. So this is basically what it looks like when I'm all done. Um, the top, I kind of just leave basically until I get there just cause this literally took me two hours and yeah, I wasn't about to part the top of my head. It just was too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and start parting the actual boxes and I'm gonna start braiding. I know the angle at this point isn't gonna be the best but there will be a better angle later on in the video. So you want to start off by using edge control all around basically the root of the braid. And I'm doing the extra flat method, which I've seen a few videos. Um, I could also leave links to them down below since this isn't like something that I made up on my own. So you will see later on that when I start my knotless braid, I'm actually gonna braid it down a few times before I add hair. And I'm also adding less hair. The reason I'm doing this method is because basically like, it's basically lighter on your head and it's a lot flatter. Being in the military, like making buns and stuff, it's really hard when you got big ass braids on your head. So these are really good if you're trying to go for that flat look.
So to get the curly ends, I'm basically doing a slip knot, like, and I'm leaving about a third of the hair unbraided. And I will show you how to do that slip knot later on in the video. So I'm about halfway done with my head at this point. Well, not half, but a good amount done. And I'm gonna show you a different angle of how I actually do these braids. Again, it's still not the perfect angle. I'm still trying to work it out. So leave a comment down below if you want an even more detailed, closer up angles video on how to add the hair. So I like to add edge control all throughout the hair just so that it's smooth while you're adding the actual hair. I'm going to go ahead and start with three sections like a regular braid and like I said before you're just going to braid your natural hair down about, I don't know, I would say about like three to four inches and then you'll start adding the hair. So once I get down a certain amount, I like to flip over because I like to braid um, underhand or overhand. I don't know which, I think I'm braiding overhand. Yeah, I like to braid overhand. It's just more comfortable for me that way. I know a lot of people braid um, the other way. I don't even know which way I braid. Leave a comment down below if you could tell me if I'm braiding overhanded or underhanded. <laughs> so basically, as you can see, I'm using my pinky to kind of hold the hair if that makes sense and then I'm just gonna add it to one section of the braid and just continue braiding down like a regular braid and then I'm gonna braid down a few more times before I add hair if I was doing doing normal knotless braids I would be adding hair every single braid if that makes sense like every single time that I make a braid but because these are the extra thin ones I'm only adding it sporadically throughout the braid in order to keep the width of the braid the same all throughout the braid. All right, so next I'm gonna show you guys how to do the slip knot. You wanna take a really, really, really thin piece of hair because if you take a piece that's too thick, the knots are super visible and it doesn't really look that great. So again, you just take a really skinny piece and what you're gonna do is you're basically gonna take that piece, wrap it around the entire braid, and then take the end of the piece and put it through that hole right there. It's kinda of hard to explain with words, but I'm hoping that seeing it helps. And I basically do that twice to make sure it's secure.
Once you're done, you're gonna take your braids and put them into two bigger braids. You could do more or less braids depending on how curly you wanted it. Um, I really just wanted it to be like wavy, like a beach wave, so I just did two braids. And then you're gonna dip that in some boiling water and then dry it off with a towel. Alright y'all, so now I'm going to add some oil to my hair just to add some shine and also the edge control that I use has like a residue and the oil kind of helps get rid of that. So that's basically why I'm using it and also to just oil my scalp. So these are my final results y'all I absolutely love it this is my first time doing my hair like this and it came out really really good um in total it took me two days so this is something you could get done in a weekend um I think the first day I started at like 7 30 but like I said it took me two hours to part and then I started braiding and I think I ended around like six or something like that and then the second day I think I started a little bit earlier and ended around like like 7 30 or so so this is definitely something you get done in a weekend um if you braid faster then you might be able to get done quicker than me i also took a few breaks as well
All right, so that is it, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, then leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see natural hair videos as well as protective style videos and lifestyle videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video from me. And I will see you guys in the next video.